As for the murder of Connie Tory, Affit was on camera following her into her apartment. Affit killed Tory and then began living in that apartment using her keys. Tasha, this is a very tough assignment. Case number. Don't you ever leave me. You hear? Don't you ever leave me. Alan Rose was just trying to do his job. He was in the process of towing Dietra Ferry's car. It was a gruesome scene. Alan bled to death near Avenue and Powers Boulevard. The military veteran left behind a wife and two kids. Paula Cooper was convicted of the murder of the 1985 death of 78-year-old Bible school teacher Ruth Pelkey inside her Gary home. They're accused of staging fistfights between dementia patients. For their own amusement. Marilyn McKee is accused of physically assaulting a 73-year-old resident, pushing her into a room while 20-year-old Tanasia Tyson and 26-year-old Tanisha Jordan filmed the encounter and did not help. Snocha Mosley killed three co-workers at a Rite Aid distribution center. Snocha Mosley killed three people and wounded three others. He says the 26-year-old then shot herself. Police say this woman, Leona Hammond, robbed a customer after she stabbed a 12-year-old boy. But now police say the woman accused in the crimes will face attempted murder charges for the bank robbery turned violent. Surveillance video shows the four suspects make a beeline for the door. They make themselves comfortable looking at their phones, relaxing back in their chairs, laughing, appearing to joke around. And at one point, the man who wanted a pedicure starts petting one of their heads. That's when the group ran out without paying. Tao says they followed the four suspects and nearly caught them when they hit the employees with pepper spray.